Christmas when I was growing up, you know, it wasn't actually a very big deal because it was just my mother and myself. And Christmas was a ham sandwich and spend the day on Mona Vale Beach. So I was kind of determined that when I got married, my children would have the, the, the whole box and dice. We would do Christmas as, as it was in the picture books. So I married an American diplomat, which meant that we were posted to lots of different countries. And so Peter came home and announced that we had been seconded to Guyana. And of course, my first question was, where's that? <laughs> Guyana at that time, this is the 1970s, it was wonderful fun. It's surrounded by Venezuela and Brazil, South America, but the West Indies was just over there and the influence of the West Indies with, you know, rum and steel bands was fabulous. So you land in Guyana and when you arrive, all you smell is rum, all that sugar cane. But it was the most delicious smell. So rum punch became, you know, everybody, everybody made rum punch, uh, particularly using the wonderful um, Guyanese rum. You have to be careful, the first time I drank rum punch, um, it's all very lovely. And then I went to stand up and my legs didn't work. Um, so some of this rum is really, really powerful. So Christmas time was the really big party time. And this particular Christmas, my little son Nick was, um, was turning four. We told him that Santa Claus was going to be coming to deliver a gift to the door, which had been arranged by the embassy to you know, come around and give a present in the late afternoon on Christmas Eve. So Nick was so excited and Sandy was coming at four o'clock. Well, we waited and we waited until it was getting closer to six o'clock. And Nick was beside himself and his sister was just going, oh, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, she was six. And then we heard thump, thump, thump up the big wooden steps, ho, 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 uh, and a lot of banging. Santa's here. We sent Nick to the to the door and he had the impression, see the little ornaments like this around the house? Santa was this tiny little man in a red suit and a white beard and very, very tiny but magic because he bought presents. And he opened the door and Nick just about faints and there's this huge, wonderful West Indian, Guyanese, with Rastafarian hair, a rather, you know, a dishevelled white cotton beard and a red suit. Ho, ho, ho. In he came. Well, Nick just took one look at this huge man and screamed and ran away because that's not what Santa was supposed to look like. Meanwhile, while we were coaxing him out of the bedroom, Santa had found the rum punch and was tucking in as it, obviously he had all the way along. So poor Nick finally came out and received his present. Um, and Santa sat down and then played his little steel drum, had another rum punch and set off to the next person's house. So we have become rum punch fanatics. So now, every Christmas, especially when Nick is here, and Christmas Eve, when everybody's gone to bed, all the presents are under the tree, the moon is out, it's all quiet and still on the mighty Manning River, Nick and I have a rum punch. Wish you were here, honey. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>